out of out of all the stories that have come out today, which there has been a ton, okay, of things to talk about today. Today we're about the Powerpuff Girls Live Action series. Oh yes, guess what? Our nightmares are true. The Powerpuff Girls is getting a live action series. Okay, our votes. Greg Berlanti is either losing a new group of superheroes in the S CW. Okay, the CW, you know, Arrowverse is dead because of Batwoman. But the network has pointed out a Powerpuff of Girls live action series based on the original Cartoon Network animated series. Created by Craig McCracken, the project featuring Arrowverse of the Free Kindergarten Ace Girls of the classic animated series hails from Diablo Cody, Hello Ringo, Toro Wars TV, and studio based Berlanti Republics. Power Girls used to be America's pine sized superheroes, but now they're just losing the toys something to rent the rent childhood to have was then while having watched the childhood of Crampain, where they agree to reunite now and the whole new spot again. Why are we making this? Okay? Why are we making this stuff, Hollywood? Why can't you think of anything new? Okay? You know, anything unique, okay? Hollywood, you know, and who expanded the exclusive right to and we had a good series on the cool classic library episodes, Power of Girls as well, you know, is on Cartoon Network, you know, and now we're getting a live action cartoon series. I hope this bombs because it's just why. Why? Nobody wants this, okay? This is Souls. Hollywood is one of our ideas. Nobody wants all these reboots and remakes. We want something new and original, okay? We don't want the same old stuff being, you know, oh my god, look at this show these people loved. Look at this movie people loved two years or 20 years ago. Let's drive, or, you know, especially cartoons, okay? Let's remake Avatar to have action. Nobody wants that, okay? Especially after the creators of the show left. Power Girls. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants a remake of Powerpuff Girls in live action. I am sorry to tell you this. What's next? Are we going to have Fanboy, or Fanboy and Some Show live action? No, no one wants that. Or Spongebob by vaccine? Okay, I'm just thinking of examples. Events of time by vaccine? Because if you really want to ruin everybody's favorite cartoons, except for Fanboy and Sum Sum, nobody likes Fanboy and Sum Sum. But yeah, Fanboy and Sum Sum, I just forgot about it up, because that would be even worse than the original show. So. Or I have action version of that awful show. Or what's next? Are we making Toy Story and why vaccine? Yeah, yeah, nobody wants this stuff. Nobody, and again, this will probably sell well because of all the nostalgia you know, it, you know, dummies who will still buy it, who will still watch this anyways. That's why the Lion King remake grows $1.6 billion, everybody. And again, people, you know, these nostalgia people are the problem. They're like, oh my god, are you making my favorite movie, my favorite show? I gotta see it, okay? You're part of the problem, you're going to go see it because it's a part of your childhood. Stop giving this re these remakes money and they'll die off and never come back nobody wants a live action version of the power girls okay nobody wants this okay nobody wants all these live action versions of these cartoons and animated series they're animated because it works and animated it doesn't work in live action just look at the lion king despite it being a pile of garbage with you know completely emotionless animals in the movie guess what it still made 1.6 billion dollars it still made $1.6 billion because all these nostalgia hops went to go see it. Okay? But yep, this is just absolute proof that Hollywood, CW, and everything, and everybody, Netflix, they run out of ideas. They can't think of anything new. So, of course, we gotta reboot everything, remake everything for, you know, money. That's basically it. Goodbye. And also, let's not forget the fact that this, this would be disturbing as well. Let's look at the big eyes. Okay? You know, okay, I'm gonna make a small segment about this video about how the big eyes. Okay? Remember, remember, remember the old Alita eyes controversy, which really was started because these, these idiots on Twitter complained about her eyes. Well, look at the Powerful Girls design, okay? The Powerful Girls design, okay? The eyes, okay? The eyes take up half of the head, basically, okay? Yeah, this doesn't, this won't work, Okay? I, oh, but they'll be live action. They'll be adults. But again, their eyes take up half of their head. Okay? I think that the big eyes will continue to adulthood. Okay? And it, it's like you guys. It's just Hollywood. You're stupid. Okay? You're stupid. Okay? You know? <laughs> and yeah, if you want to see some nightmarish images of the live action Powerpuff Girls. Okay? Oh, they don't have any. You know? Hey, what is CW? And that's actually true. 
But yeah, there was an image about the Powerpuff Girls. And they had their gigantic eyes. And it was just, just weird. That, that's what it looked like, okay? That's what would be a live-action Powerpuff Girls. It would be just, just why. And that's basically it. Goodbye.